it finally happened. I started my journey to trade a single bobby pin for a house. I traded the bobby pin for a pair of earrings, then traded those earrings for four margarita glasses. Pretty nice ones too, honestly. I found a girl on Facebook who wanted the margarita glasses, so I traded those for a Bissell vacuum cleaner. After I got the vacuum, I cleaned up a few things before trading it again, like replacing a screw that was missing and using nail polish remover to get any scuffs off the sides of the vacuum. I looked through over a thousand trades until I found the right one, all while gaining over a million followers. After picking the perfect trade, I drove 30 minutes and met a guy in a parking lot to trade the vacuum for this really nice snowboard. In just four trades, I've gone from a bobby pin to a snowboard. I read through hundreds of DMs on Instagram, but ended up finding my trade pretty quickly on Facebook. Once I confirmed the trade was good to go, I wiped down all the rust from the board and I filed the sides to really clean up those edges. The snowboard was valued at around $95 and the new item was valued at more than double at around $200, giving me a barely used Apple TV 4K. I then traded those headphones for a new Xbox One with two controllers, two games, and a Kinect sensor bar. These trades are just getting crazier and crazier. After finding this guy who really wanted the Xbox, I traded him in the parking lot of a Safeway for, I'm not kidding you, a MacBook Pro. Here's what I got. And camera. Battery grip, video light, a really nice lens. These off-white Nike blazers are in great condition and worth $850. I even scanned them to make sure they were real. I'm so ready to get that house. I traded the iPhone 11 Pro Max and got the keys to a 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan. Got it! But it had a pretty bad leak. So I traded it for a booster board and then set off again to get something even better. After finding someone who wanted to trade, he packaged it up and shipped it from Oregon to San Francisco. So the package arrived. MacBook Pro. This MacBook is much newer than the one I had a few trades ago. For a week and a half straight, I went and looked at tons of possible trades, even looking at two vans, both that were in pretty bad shape. After days of searching, I finally found someone on Amazing. Facebook Marketplace and gave them All a right, call. All right, I look forward to it. We drove six hours to LA to meet up with Sean and Ferris and make the trade happen. This $4,000 electric bike food cart was an amazing trade. It's fully electric and is perfect for a small business owner looking to sell on the go. See you guys later. I packed up the bike and shipped it across the country, trading it for a 2006 Mini Cooper convertible. In just three months, I've gone from a bobby pin to a $6,500 car. After looking for quite some time for the perfect trade, I finally found Corbin, but she was four hours away from where the car was. And today, I got the trade for it in the mail. All right, so the package just got here. I could not be more excited to open it. So let's do it. It is a diamond and sapphire necklace worth, according to a jeweler, $19,500. After trying to trade it, I realized it wasn't what I thought at all. All of them, after going to about 10, said it was about $2,500. So I spent the last two weeks looking for a trade around something in that value and finally found Sam. So I traded him the necklace for a brand new Peloton V3. After getting it in the car and driving it through San Francisco, I finally got it home. So what now? This is definitely not where I thought I was gonna be, but I'm not giving up. I've made 23 trades, with my most recent trade being a diamond necklace for a Peloton workout bike. After finding a possible trade, it ended up falling through, and I had to start all over again and until I found Casey. We got on FaceTime and chatted, and then had my friend Laura pick up the trade for a Ford Mustang GT Deluxe. I'm so excited about this trade. We've had our ups and downs, but we're finally back on top. While the Mustang was great and an awesome trade, it was a 2006 and had 204,000 miles, so definitely an older car. I traded the Mustang for a 2011 Jeep Patriot Sport with only 145,000 miles. 
This car is beautiful and it came all from a single bobby pin. After six months of trading a single bobby pin until I get a house, it finally happened. I traded the Jeep for a brand new Wildbound Tiny Cabin. The trade really is unbelievable. Austin and his team at Wildbound Cabin Co. actually make these tiny cabins to go on trucks or trailers and even convert vans. While technically it's not the house, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Thanks to everyone who's been here since day one, and more importantly, let's get this house.